So, back for week four of the High Roller Draft League against Condor this week. Should I have respected this Cavalier? Ah, oh, I shouldn't have. I put Mystical Fire back on Latias. Okay. Right. So, plan here is to do this. With Clefable and Latios in the back. Wasn't expecting Terrakion to actually come even to the match, so... Have to be aware about that, because I made Latios slower than it. That might have been a huge mistake. That might have been a huge mistake, but we will see. Wow, they were ready. They knew what they were doing as well. Alright, let's go. Reasonable, reasonable. So this implies to me that it's going to be the Support Thunderous. And against this, Clefable Latios whomped on it, so a little bit disappointing. But there we go. They are maxing immediately. Interesting. Is it going to be the Thunderous? Did I get that wrong? I did indeed get it wrong. Whoops. Well, this is probably not going to be a great start, is it? So they are going to be... What I did not want to see. I got the yawn the wrong way around as well. Life orb, okay, not a soul vest, that's reasonable. By going to either Pokemon, I can help and hand KO that Thunderous. Right? I'm gonna do that calc. Pretty sure I did that calc before, but because it's not Assault Vest, which is good for me. going to be a roll, isn't it? And I don't want to Wormwind it. It would be Hailstorm, actually, wouldn't it? Hailstorm is slightly stronger. Hailstorm would get it. Oh, no, it's taken a reasonable amount of chip as well, isn't it? Because it took the fake out as well. So I can go for Helping Hands and Hailstorm, and I should be okay. Where's Tapu Bulu? That's not too bad. But it's good to know that they are the offensive thunderous. It's much worse for me that they're the offensive thunderous, but it's good to know that they are. Is this going to be a max guard? Max guard would be awkward. Okay, that's okay. Nice and bulky, so I'm living. That's really good. And this KOs the um, thunderous. Supposedly. After all the chip they've taken, this supposedly KOs the thunderous, especially with the hail chip that could happen. Okay, cool. So Latios is going to sweep now. That's the plan. How much am I doing against a Tapu Bulu? No, 
I need helping hands, but with that little bit of chip, I oh, know they're going to recover, aren't they? Um, but then the, at the end of the turn, it would KO theoretically, and that's against the Salt Burst as well. Oh, well, Mystical Fire will do a little bit more. My Slayer will do a bit more. Yeah, Max Flare will get it if I just go for the Helping Hands. We'll have to see if the Blue outspeeds me as well. There is Terrakion. I underspeed that. They're going to see that I underspeed that. Hmm. Still okay. Um, and Hailstorm would cover the Landorus, but they're not going to switch. So this is okay. Let me see how fast the Bulu is. Rip me under speeding my mean shell. They see that they outspeed. Oh, nice. How fast is the, the type of Bulu? I still outspeed nice. This KO is even a Soul Best, unless they're like super a Soul Best. Pretty sorted now. I just go for Hailstorm into the Landorus. There's nothing they can do. They're not Scarf because their Thunderous outsped them. So they can't box like flinch me. I've got one more turn. I'm surprised Drakion came to the match. Like, they don't know. And they will know. They'll find out because they'll probably see my top able. Like, all four of my Pokemon hit it super effectively. So I'm quite surprised it came to the match. But... There we go. Uh, I don't need helping hand. Landorus gets KO'd, so I might as well just not reveal Scalder Icy Winds. Could have gone for helping hand just in case the Landorus has protects. Okay, that's fine. Very gone. Focus Sash makes sense, but that's not going to save it from the hail. To be fair, to be fair, they've got Rock Slide forever. <laughs> like, they could Rock Slide flinch me. One Moonblast should KO the Terrakion as well. There's the Rock Slide, there's a way. I thought this scenario was much. Less likely than the Volcarona, and Volcarona didn't even come to the match, so... Whoops. I've given them a win condition when I had a 100% one if I was just max speed. At least with the offensive, um, Clefables, they're not Assault Vest on the Terrakion, so... Offensive Clefables should be KOing. Quite. It's a roll heavily in my favor, factoring in some, um, some chip. But my fault for underspeeding. Just don't be a flinchy boy. both, just no flinchy boys. Okay, fine. This KOs. So, that went alright. Considering how bad practice went against the offensive Thunderous, that's a good start. A bit awkward that they found out that I underspeed their Latios, because they might go the Dugtrio route now, and I didn't practice against Dugtrio, so here we go. So, what to do? Focus Sash Landorus, that means they're going to be just fast and no bulk. 
It is offensive thunderous. Could go Porygon Z as a lead and just Icy Wind. A double Icy Wind, that not be, might not be too bad, because then I can just Dynamax the Clefable in the back. That's not bad. I might do that. And if they lead with the Dug Tree, I get to just Icy Wind and Max Mindstorm, and they can't stop that. So, that should be okay. What do I drop? Uh, mean Shower Blastoise, so I definitely want Clefable. Fake Out is good. Quick Guard is pointless, because there's no priority stuff now. Probably Blastoise. I think Blastoise. Mm, fake Out is, fake out is good. Take out's pretty good. <coughs> then not being assault vest is much much better for me. I double ice will give them plus four, but then next turn I should be able to oko them with whatever. If it if it's the thunderous that is. <laughs> I think the underspeeding Terrakion has worked out well for me here. Because now they're baited into this, and I get to go for Icy Wind and Max Mindstorm. Right? Right? Did I? Am, am I secretly a genius? Am I secretly a genius? I'm hoping I'm secretly a genius. I can actually win two shots there, Dark Trio as well, because it's like one of the frailest Pokemon. 35 HP or something like that. No focus action on it though, because that was on the land rest. Interesting. Got Dynamax the track as well. Oh, they did! Oh! Oh, am I secretly a genius? I think I'm secretly a genius. <laughs> Come on, just hit the Icy win. Assuming I Oko this Terrakion, I. I'm assuming I open this Terrakion. If I don't, that's a bit awkward, but we'll see. Am I a genius? Oh, I have to wait for my Dynamax. <laughs> this will be like the biggest brain. Like, e even I didn't think about this. Biggest brain move ever. Come on. If I miss the Icy Win, I'm going to be so upset. Nice. Nice. Yeah, easy. Two shot on Doug Trio. I think I'm seeing you really a genius. Come on, Latios. Nice and strong. I am secretly, and now no longer secretly, a genius. <laughs> That's like the best underspeeding I've ever done. Because <laughs> that baited the Doug Trio Terrakion. And now the game's just over, right? Like, what can they do? The game is just over. Nice. <laughs> Amazing. Well, that's fine. <laughs> Icy Wing KOs the Dug Trio, Mystical Fire KOs the Tapu Bulu, or Max Flare, I should say. Like, the game is just over. I mean, to, to be fair, I can miss Icy Wind on the, on, on the Dug Trio. Yeah, that's reasonable. That's re that <laughs> is entirely reasonable. The biggest bait ever, and I didn't even realize it while I was building. But that's what <laughs> that's what you can do sometimes. That was actually great that they found out that 
to Rakion outsped because that baited that. Because that normally wouldn't happen. They surely wouldn't feel comfortable going with beat up if they knew that Latios outsped the Terrakion. So, what a bait. Like, even I didn't think about that going into the match, but that worked out absolutely perfectly. And I'm going to have to do a couple of games <laughs> as extra ones because of that, because that's, what, 15 minutes? That would give away the result pretty quickly. So, yeah, I'll move on to some other matches then. Okay, here we are back on Series 11. I've already given up on Series 11 because um, Diamond and Pearl uh, doubles is so much more fun than Series 11. So, not sure why I'm here, but well, I'm playing Series 9 at least because there's no restricted. Uh, but, yeah, what am I going to do here? So, let's see. I'm not sure what the Drift Room is doing or how it's activating some bird. It might just be a Citrus Area or something. Usually when there's Cursula, then it's some kind of beat-up thing to get um, the weak armor going. But I can't see any beat-up there. Uh, Toxpex could be a bit of an issue, but I've got my Latios. My Latios is pretty good here. Latios is pretty good here. If I just keep Latios safe, then I should be okay. I'm going to bring Porygon Z as a backup, and then... I'm going to respect the Toxpex completely, and bring the Zapdos. Well, there is the Tox effects immediately. Okay, so. Tox effects absolutely deserves respect, even though it's probably going to go for Baneful Bunker. I'm going to take care of it immediately. I'm using I'm facing a Landorus again. <laughs> even though that's pretty common in in VGC, not just the draft. To be fair, Toxapex could be a reasonable C because it can just win games on its own if you're not prepared. But then again, in draft you should be prepared. You should very much be prepared. But then you disrespect it, so it's fine. And we're at the bottom of the ladder, so they're not gonna Dynamax that Andrus. So that's just what I'm going for. It's a shame I didn't get to do anything offensive to Clefable. I'm not often going to be, be bringing offensive Clefable, and it, it did literally nothing. It just joined the field, and that was it. See? Told you. No Dynamax. That means this Icy Wind is going to hurt this. Yep, yeah, nice and then dealt with. Respect the Toxapex. This is a Fly or a U-turn, then Landris is taking a lot of damage, because this is now a single target Icy Wind. I'm curious to know if this would KO or not. Ah, uh, yes. We are bottom of the ladder. Yes. I'm going to flinch, though. No, I'm not. Okay. Well, this is a good start. No, I didn't KO. Okay, fair enough. But to be fair, I haven't got my plus one yet, so... Makes sense. Makes sense. Ah, oh, that's definitely going to be the Dynamax. I'm going to double up into it. That should be enough for KO, even if they do Dynamax. Landorus is not a concern. If it's special extra sensory, it is not a concern. That makes sense. But I'm pretty confident that these two attacks should KO the Togekiss. If they're weakness policy, then I don't care because I'm unaware of the Fable. So I should be fine. I guess Crit Kiss would be the, the concern for this one, because that bypass is unaware, so. That's half, it's reasonable, because it's based off Icy Wind. Like, the calcs meant that I didn't need Ice Beam to get all the Hailstorm damage, which was nice. Um, I'm still doing half as Max Starfall. This probably KOs Latios. Um, what was I thinking? <laughs> um, why did that do so little? That's quite surprising. Okay, here we go. 
Nice and offensive, Clefable. Did I outspeed the Landorus? They are like no speed Landorus. Big damage. I was correct to assume that that combination would KO. And I can't flinch now because I am outspeeding. I'm pretty confident I just max move an icy wind and I win the game. Can't even remember what else they had. Cinderace could outspeed and do something there. Um, icy wind could miss. It's hard to take this this one seriously given how comfortable the game is. I can somewhat relax, I think. I'm surprised how little damage that Starfall did though. Oh, it's in the race, okay. So it might not be as straightforward, but I will go for an icy wind. And I will go for a Worm wins because they could suck a punch and make themselves immune to the psychic damage. So, yeah, fair enough. Uh, I probably need to get one more because that's still what, like 21 minutes of a match? And people, what's happening? What's going on? Excuse me. Oh, they, they forfeit and close their system. Interesting. You don't usually get that combination. It's usually just the either rage quit or forfeit and, you know, I'll check the team, sure. Curse that Sticky Barb, okay. Not what I would have expected. Perish Song is reasonable. Uh, they have Hex, but are they adamant? Or brave, sorry. Yeah, they're brave, okay. Uh, this might be an in-game team. This is very reasonably, very reasonable to say an in-game team. They're like minus speed, that's why. Okay. That makes sense. Unfortunately, I'm just... Well, that's the slowest in the race. That's got to be in-game. Um, I am just stalling for time at this point because, you know, it, the point of this... It doesn't matter if you're watching this. The point of this is to make the video long enough so you don't, you don't spoil the results. So, um, if you look at the time, then you would know that it's a two-game match. Although this has got to be one of the quickest... Uh, quickest games I've had. Was Colin? Was Colin's one quicker? Because that had a one-turn game. But I think... But that, no, that went to game three. That was surely longer. Um, and it was off Draining Kiss. That's why. Yeah, I did think it would be not off Desmond Gleam. Because it did seem particularly weak. Uh, and it was Serene Grace. So I was thinking may maybe Hustle and play rough. But oh well. And the issue with being down here at the bottom of the ladder when no one cares about Series 11 is it's going to take a little while to find someone. But I guess that's not an issue because... Ooh, I'm not about my ladder. Uh, the point of this is to just, you know, stall some time. So, being a bit, bit being a bit better if this was like on Twitch or something, because then I could have actually interacted with people rather than. I was going to say like wait for a minute, but then here we are, and we're still playing Series Nine. Good, in the spirit of this draft league. Cool. So, uh, my Porygon Z 128. I think it underspeeds Noivern if it's max speed. So that's with a Dog Trio and a Scarf Dracovish. Scarf Dracovish hit 191. Neuvern hits 192. So I either speed tie or outspeed. So I think I'm okay going with the Icy Wind strat again. And then. Yeah, definitely Zapdos. For sure, Zapdos. And then the last one, I'm not too sure on. Uh, last choice in the grey. I think it's just going to be called Fable. Like, follow me seems reasonable to bring in the back. That should be fine. Hope I'm not making up that outspeed at Noivern. Like, there may not be max speeds. Like, pure, like, absolute max speed on the Noivern. I'm pretty sure they hit 192, right? Wait, so I'm 128. I hit 192, don't I? Pretty sure I hit 192. It was Gengar and Moongus though, so that's okay. Hmm. A concern here would be if they go for Trick Room. So I don't want to commit a Dynamax yet. Because 
I'm gonna Icy Wind, even if they do Trick Room, that'd be a bit awkward, but I'm not gonna commit a Dynamax yet. If they do Trick Room, my Clefable can be the Dynamax Pokemon. Okay, so my Latios definitely moves before the Gengar. Uh, surely owning Piapa would save the Amoongus. Like, even if it's Bold or Relax Max, like, surely my Life Orb Slash Shock is going to KO. Oh, that's a bit awkward when I'm Troy Scarf. No Piapa, so this should KO an Amoongus, right? Every Amoongus should be KO'd. Yep, cool. Don't be Trick Room. That'd be awkward. Just be Shadow Ball on my Latios, please. Okay, sweet. Is this even KO? Not from a Sash one, right? My damage intuition is is pretty good. I have some pretty pretty good damage intuition. You just get start to get a rough feel of of it. So I can't icy winds because I am disabled now. But they are not trick room, so I'm confident in switching out my Porygon Z. Uh, the whole Lucha will outspeed me. So this is going to be a bit of an awkward turn. Uh, but I am attacking the Holutra in case they try and set up something like a Sword Stance. Because if they go on the offensive this turn, Holutra isn't very strong if, uh, if it hasn't set up. So, by attacking the Holutra instead of the Gengar, like, I'm losing Latios this turn. Whatever happens, I say. Even though, may not be guaranteed. Because, like I'm saying, I either I hit a move and then my life will kills me. Or they attack my Latios. But then I could hit into a Holutra, uh, protect. And then the Gengar attacks the Porygon Z. But that seems unlikely to me, so... Preserve my choice scarf. My jump kick. Well, that's a good switch in for the Zapdos then. Get the static. Oh, rubbish. This should KO the Horlucha. We'll see if it's Focus Sash. It is not Focus Sash, so... Things are looking good. Unless they click Trick Room. And even if they do, then Clefable is fine. Yeah, still just Shadow Ball. That's absolutely fine. Okay, down to Citrus. Very good. Is this match gonna... Like, is these two extra games gonna end up being longer than the actual match itself? I think it's closing in on it. Yeah, I, I should probably Dynamax the Zapdos here, but no. I am going to Dynamax the Clefable. So, uh, what would be the best way around of doing it? Uh, would Thunderbolt KO? Thunderbolt wouldn't KO. It's worth going for Meteor Beam instead this turn. And the Hurricane will KO. And I'm just going to hit the Hurricane, it's fine. Like, this, this game doesn't matter. I'll double into the Gengar with the Max Rock Fuller as well, just in case the um, the Hurricane misses. But that's fine. Like, Dynamaxing Zapdos there was a much better play, because it will live whatever the Gyarados wants to go for, and, unless it had Stone Edge. Um, and then Lightning KOs it, for sure. Uh, and the Gengar under speeds my Zapdos because they've already been icy winded, so this is... Suboptimal, but I wanted to Dynamax my Clefable this game, potentially, and I didn't get to. Like, la like the theory of Latios being amazing worked out absolutely fine. But here we go. Here's a big Clefable. That's a cool Dynamax cry. I Dynamax Clefable once. When I've used all my gravity uh, shenanigans, um, I Dynamax Clefable once. I lost that game, but I did Dynamax it. Okay, cool. Yeah, the Tactical Fable, I should be living a Sludge Bomb from this range. I really should. But I'm hitting the Hurricane, it's fine. I'm just hitting the Hurricane and that's enough to KO. Oh, they still outspeed. My Zap is pretty slow, but Sludge Wave means that... Oh, it didn't hit. Okay, fair enough. That seems not ideal. How slow is my Zap boss? Ah, oh, perfectly calced for because the Sandstorm is going to pick it up. Here comes the Safety Goggles Gengar, but yeah, how slow is my... How slow was my Zap boss? So I'm pretty sure I made it out of speed. 
I might be missing something. Oh, they air streamed. That's what I'm missing. They air streamed, of course. The air stream put them back to neutral. That is exactly what I missed. But perfectly calced for. Um, not to Oko a Thunderous with. Was it helping hand Meteor Beam? Uh, it was definitely to KO that specific Gengar uh, after uh, factoring in the Sandstorm chip. Definitely. And yes, this match is going to end up being longer. Or well, these two games are going to be longer than the actual match itself. Oh, I could have roosted. Could have roosted. They should have speed my Paragon Z as well now. Game's not over. Probably should have roosted there. No, I can go follow me hyper beam next turn. Because if they KO the Fable, they get Thunderbolted. And apart from Wacken or Assault Vest, no, they're not Assault Vest, they're Max Guarded, so only Wacken would save them, surely. Um, and then if they attack the Zapdos, I'll just follow me hyper beam, and I just need to hit a hyper beam. Guys, it makes sense. Because now their Waterfall is going to be stronger. But now it's not, because I'm going for Rockfall, so. Probably should have gone for Airstream, because if they saw I was True Scarf on the Porygon Z, because uh, they did, because I outspit the Gengar, um, then they should have gone for a second Airstream, because Porygon Z, if it's True Scarf, like, they don't know my set, it is naturally faster than Gyarados, so they should, probably should have Airstream there, especially because of the fact that I have gone for um, Rockfall to reset this Geyser, so the rain doesn't help them, because we're back to where we started. So Airstream was more optimal. See how fast their um, their Gyarados is, and they can't even like surely non-Dynamax Gyarados can't Oko the PZ. Trying to work it out how I win with Clefable clicking Meteor Beam. I'm not really seeing a way other than Icy Winds, but that still doesn't help because Clefable is in range of an attack. But two icy winds should KO there. Should KO the Gyarados. It's fine. Okay, so Meteor Beam was correct, right? No, because I haven't used the Power Hub. Oh, if it was a one turn. No, oh, so I don't get to Meteor Beam. That's rubbish. I'm locked into Icy Wind as well. Oh, if they paralyze me. Ooh, they could paralyze me. No, because I'll just go for Moonblast this turn. So I yeah, like I'll scrap the Meteor Beam. I clicked Meteor Beam and it whiffed, so. Fair enough. Bit awkward that I had the power hurt there. Definitely suboptimal going for a 95% accurate move rather than a 100. Like if I click try attack or ice beam, I have won the game. Like it is a 100% win condition. Currently it is a probably 99% win condition because I need to miss icy win twice. Although they could bounce paralyze me as well. And then Moxie as well, so they might Oko the PZ now. But I hit the Ice Wind, so it's fine. And they should KO. Okay, so. Yeah, that was <laughs> that was a few minutes longer than the actual match itself. Uh, you are a trooper if you made it through these games and didn't just switch off halfway through. Don't blame me if you did, but well done for making it through at the end if you did.